What did he complete? From day one, even when he was in his mother's womb, there were attacks. When he was born, there was no rest. They have to run to Egypt to avoid him to be killed. He grew up at the age of 30. As he started his ministry, there were fires from here and there. The scribes, Sadducees, the Herodians, the Pharisees, all were at his neck. He preached the good news to the people. He healed the people. He delivered the people. He continued. Even when he came to the climax, he was arrested. From the time he was arrested, he did not eat. He did not drink. When they tried him, jungle justice, when Pilate was unable to save him, Pilate told his, the soldiers to flog him. Flogging somebody who is not a Roman citizen can be more than 40 lashes. 40 lashes, less one should be given to a Roman citizen. But anybody who is not a Roman citizen could be flogged 100 lashes. And if you have watched whole videos, you see the flogging, the whole body peeled, isn't it? He was insulted. He was bruised. Even when he was going to Gogotha, this man Jesus, the God, was falling along the way. They were still beating him. He came to a point where he could not carry the cross any longer. Simon of Cyrene helped him, isn't it? He got there. They did not end at that. They started kneeling him, putting one here, and they put a nail. If you put your hand like that and you put a nail, can you be it? Bye. 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 They put that one. They put this one. They put the legs. And they were still rebuking him. They were still ridiculing him. They were still insulting him. When the thing was hung. And he was waving like this. The hands there. Legs on the air. Look at what Jesus passed through. Because of you and I. He came to save you. He came to save me. This thing he came to do, he said, I have a baptism. Look at Luke chapter 12, verse 50. I have a baptism. But I have this stress of trying to bring it to pass, to accomplish it. I have that distress. When he came to this time, they gave him vinegar to drink. Vinegar. It's a sour drink. It's not tasty. People who thought they were harming Jesus, it was not harming, they were strengthening him. But vinegar and pass one. Vinegar deadens the pains. They never understood. Vinegar, that one he drank, deadened the pains he was passing through. And after that, he said, it is finished. He has finished the work of redemption. He finished the work of salvation. He came to free you and to free me. He has done it. He has done the job. You, all of us are here now. 
Have you keyed into the salvation that has brought to you and I? It has finished the job. Are you, have you keyed yourself into it? If you have keyed yourself into it, fine and good. He has finished the job. You don't need to fear Satan. Fear wishes and wizards. Fear darkness. Fear lizards. Fear mosquitoes. Fear cockroaches. Fear every bit of thing that come across us. Come across us. You don't need to fear. He has completed the job of salvation. He has done it. So you don't need to fear anything any longer. But you, what you need to do if you have not done it, key into what he has done. If you have not encountered him, encounter him now. Not wearing black or wearing on this one. Today is Good Friday. All of us are wearing. Whereas inside, he's dirty. You know what I'm talking about. Inside, if inside is dirty and we're here, oh, Jesus died on Good Friday. Let us go to reenact it. We must change now so that the work that has completed will be real in our lives. Jesus said, it is finished. He said in John chapter 17, verse 4. Let me read it. said, I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you gave to me to do. He was talking to his father. The work that the father gave to him to do, he has finished it. The work he has, Jesus has given to every one of us, we must have to do it now because tomorrow may be too late. Let us pray. Father, you spoke to us. Make us to be able to key into what your son, Jesus Christ, has finished for us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com. God bless you.